right, Joe with Josh, coffee talks with Josh, whatever you want to call it. We're going to do some coffee, how I make my coffee, how I prepare it every single morning. So I hope you guys, we've been getting a lot of ton of stuff asking about like how I make my coffee, things like that. This might be boring to some. I love it personally. Uh, I thought about wearing a leather vest and maybe a monocle, but you know, I decided with the rogue t-shirt instead. So, but seriously, here we go. So I do a pour over typically in the morning and how I prepare it is with a Kalia Wave. Gotta get your filter. Uh, gotta get your best mug, Good Dudes Coffee, which is coming soon. Don't forget, uh, things you're gonna need is also maybe a scale. This is a really nice one. You don't have to go as nice. Uh, this is a little cheaper version, but a scale because you wanna measure the ground or the uh, beans and the water. Pour overs make a really smooth cup of coffee and I don't put any uh, cream or sugar or anything like that in the, in the coffee. I like my coffee black, so that's just me. Here we go. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you wanna find which ratio works best for you. For me, I've typically gone with 24 to 25 grams of coffee to 325 grams of water. So we'll measure out, our, measure out our coffee first. A lot of people think you put coffee in the freezer. That is not actually correct. You wanna actually just put them in an airtight container that also keeps them from light. So, and always wanna go with whole beans. You always wanna grind your coffee immediately. If you buy ground coffee, it is very stale. If you, so don't, uh, don't buy ground coffee because it goes stale, I wanna say, in a pretty short amount of time, like less than an hour after it's ground, it goes stale. So always wanna have whole bean on hand and have a nice grinder. Uh, grinder is actually one of the most important parts of coffee, uh, how it's ground. Uh, you don't wanna get a blade grinder. Blade grinders don't chop up the bean. They chop it up so it's not all e evenly uh, broken down or ground, I guess and so you don't get a, um, a smooth consistency in your coffee. Uh, you gotta get a burr grinder. There's some cheap versions out there on Amazon, but yeah, burr grinders are the way to go. So we're going to get, go with 24 grams of coffee. Boom, 24 grams of coffee. Put that in your grinder. Grind it up, boom, got your fresh ground coffee. Uh, water temperature when you are doing your pour over needs to be at around like 190 to 2, 205 the temperature Fahrenheit. If you don't have uh, something that's telling you your temperature gauge, get it, let your water get to boiling and then let it sit for about 30 to 45 seconds and that should put it down to about 205-ish, you know, give or take. I actually have like the uh, pour over here that has the, or the kettle that has the temperature gauge. So it's really nice and convenient actually. Uh, first thing you want to do is you actually want to wet your filter. Get that paper taste out of there. Let's see it. Also, what you're going to do when you're doing this is you're going to warm up your coffee mug, which helps just make your coffee a little, keep it warmer a little longer. Dump that water out so you're, it's not in the cup. Zero out your scale. All right, 24 grams. Now, when it comes to pouring the coffee, what you want to do is you want to put 50 grams of water in immediately um, and then let it sit for 30 seconds. That's called blooming the grounds. You want to make sure all the grounds get wet on that first pour. Start your timer, let it sit for 30 seconds. So now at 30 seconds, you're going to add uh, 60 grams of water. Again, kind of making sure that you get all of the grounds wet and let that sit for about 30 seconds, 30, 45 seconds, and then you're gonna uh, do that until, continue to do that until you hit the 325 grams of water. Basically, once the water is all the way through the grounds is when you wanna pour again. If you pour too fast, you'll under, extra, under extract the coffee, and if you pour too slowly, you're gonna over extract it, so. I typically like African countries, uh, Ethiopian, Kenyans. Those are typically my favorite go-to. I like trying all like all coffees though, like I'll, I'll, I'll drink Colombians, I'll drink Guatemalans, you know, Panama. Those are some of my favorites that I typically stick with. Try them all out for you and try it and see which ones you like. You also wanna look at if it's a single origin or if it's a blend. I typically go for single origin all right hit 325 boom let that last bit of water run through the coffee and then it's time to drink boom dump your filter out you know wipe the bottom off with your with your shirt because that's you know obviously the only thing that's there and you are ready to go 
get your good cup of coffee. And then obviously, you know, don't forget to pay him. Oh yeah, that's good. That's real nice. If you don't say after your first sip of your coffee, damn, that's a good cup of coffee, you're drinking the wrong coffee. And there you go. So again, go over it quick. You want, have a good ratio, good grinder, burr grinder, uh, a scale, a kettle. You can have the gooseneck if you need it. It's not really ne completely necessary, but it just helps uh, getting make sure, make sure you get all the grounds nice and wet and it's not overflowing and dumping extra water in. So again, my ratio is typically 23 to 24 grams of coffee in 325 grams of water. Uh, you want to grind it to a coarse grind. Water temperature typically between 190 to 205. 50 grams of water off the bat, wait 30 seconds, and then add uh, 60 grams of water every 30 to 45 seconds until you reach 325. And then enjoy your delicious cup of coffee. Hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. My favorite shoot so far. If you like it, let us know. I got other stuff we can go over, aero presses, we can go over uh, when my new espresso machine gets here, we'll go over that, how to make that kind of stuff. I'm, I'll be learning along with everyone else on that one. I was actually, <laughs> I stopped at the coffee shop yesterday and I was like, what do you use for your espresso machine? So um, yeah, good times. I love coffee. We'll talk about it all the time. And don't forget to pay the man.